So we're here at our nearby park in the neighborhood. And I'm admiring this gorgeous chestnut tree. You see that little spiny, spiny needles on that green part of that chestnut? Well, they're all falling. And this lovely lady, what is your name? Oh, hi. <laughs> what is your name? Nice to meet you. Can you show me how you get the chestnuts out of their, sh their covering? Look at that. She has experience. You are good at that. And Gus is interested. Oh, don't eat those. Now, how do you roast them? You bake them? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, hi, thank you for sharing. Okay, we're going to do a little run because every day Gus and I are running. Come on, boy. Come on, Gus. Come on. And we're going to learn how to roast chestnuts. I love the people in this town because they're always looking at ways to create with their food and the bounty that comes with living in a city that has plants everywhere. Look at these blueberry plants. They're on the outside of the community garden. Now, they've already come into their full harvest, but it's just awesome to know that when they're in bloom, we can actually enjoy some. And believe me, we have. Now these lovely tomato plants are growing right outside of the fence. And it's just fun to look at them. Beautiful pumpkins. I tried to get ourselves a little plot in this garden and it was so full. I couldn't even get in. That's how many people love to garden. So here's to growing. Here's to knowing. Goes. Come on, boy. We gotta get this baby to run. Gus! He smells something good. Okay, let's see how this boy can run at age 13. Gus, show him how you run so well. Yeah! Look at that boy. There's so much to explore. So much to see.